Hello again, everybody, to my, uh, I think this is the fourth episode I'm recording today. Um, yeah, we're South Africa, <laughs> where, <laughs> um, yeah, we are South Africa, and today we're going to make Siam capitulate and hopefully drive Japan out of Burma and whatever <laughs> Germany's doing here for whatever reason. I think they just transferred the state ownership. But one thing that we must continue with is the annihilation of these units that we left off with at the end of the last episode. And I looked back over at the end of the last episode because I hadn't in a while, and things are not looking good for uh, the African theater. I, th I have no doubt that we'll be able to hold... Um, this territory right here in our Rhodesia, but I don't know what we're going to do in regards to <laughs> pushing all the way back up to Egypt. I might, I, I don't regret my decision to pull back though, which is good. And I think it was a good call to come over here and kickstart this invasion here so that we can maybe free up these Norwegian troops, free up America to f do a full-out invasion of Japan, and you know, safeguard Australia because he's doing a lot for this war effort. He's lost 400,000 troops. We've lost a little over 217, well, a little over 200,000. This is what I meant to say, but yeah, 217,000. Yeah, we are committing to the war effort today. We're, we've got the second most war participation out of any nation currently. <laughs> Which is incredible. So yeah, I'm thinking we're going to be able to get plenty of stuff out of this war here, as long as we can continue making guns, making support equipment. Wonder how many trucks do we have? 596. Um, let's see. Let me go to modify my Marines division. Um, make this a Mariner force, just because I like renaming things. Um, to add a field hospital. 20 trucks for each division. So that's 20 times 8, which is 160. Yeah, we have plenty of trucks to add field hospitals. Can we add logistics? Yes, we can add logistics. All right, let's do that. All right, we have a lot more support equipment in the divisions now, but that is going to save us a lot of equipment. And... Oh, our troops are, <laughs> are fighting at very minimal strength right now. I'm just going to wait. There we go. Okay. It's going to be a few days before we get all of our supplies back, but I want to ensure that these troops are annihilated. Fighting with very minimal strength, like at less than half. But we're still winning this battle decisively. We freed up all of those troops that were here on the front line. We can start pushing north. Got Japan on the run. Um, okay, I, I shouldn't be worried. There's 32 British infantry divisions over here. Okay, we have radio detection equipment. Nice. Do I have anything else that I want from 1942? Yes, the advanced computing machine. Yeah, I saw in between recordings here, episodes, if people want me to talk more, I'm going to take that as a compliment <laughs> that you guys want to hear my voice even more. Um, which makes me very happy, and I'll do my best. But, again, no guarantees, just because of the way I operate, is, um, I, I pause a lot whenever I speak, and, uh, it's very disheartening when all you want to do is talk and not stop. Alright, so we're going to make a line 
to assault. Um, we'll assault up to the river. Yeah, we're gonna assault all the way up to the river. And all the way around. There we go. It's gonna be our assault line. These visions are gonna get wrapped up nice and quick. It's gonna be another six. And I forgot to turn the fan off. Sorry about that, everybody. I'll try and uh, <laughs> try and remember to get rid of that in the future. I muffed up, <laughs> but that's okay. We all make mistakes. I never asked for this. Oh, that's a good reference right there <laughs> to Deus Ex. If you guys like Deus Ex. Ooh, naval battle happened. Uh, the Japanese sunk some Filipino uh, convoys. That's okay. Alright, so where are our, my troops, I wonder, because... Alright, you know what, I'm going to select all of you. I'm going to delete your front line. I'm going to give you a new one, specifically over here. These five provinces right there. And then I'm going to remake the offensive line just to be these three provinces. Then we'll wait for our planning bonus. And then we'll launch the attack, which that might be a month or so before we get the full planning bonus. I can make this into a front line at this point. Um, Alright, all we have left is aviation effort. <laughs> Alright, so these guys, you're going to have a front line right there. I'm going to trash that. So the front line is going to be... What is... Right, sorry about that, everybody. Um, see, what had happened was... Um, got some people in the house watching the Olympics. And... Uh, the Sweden-USA soccer game is going on right now for the between the women's teams. And it's going to penalty kicks. And it is very scary to have someone um, <laughs> yelling at the TV, essentially. We're going to wait before we draw an offensive line for those guys. Um... Yeah, we're back. And we're doing pretty well. God, there's a lot of troops here. It might be better to go all the way around because there don't seem to be as many troops. Um, it's 1942. We can get even better engineers. Um, so since they have so many divisions over here, I'm going to delete the front line again. And we're going to draw a front line right along here, these three provinces. So, let's get everyone moving over there. And I want to push up to here, I think. I push up to the river. Yeah, we're just going to let these Japanese and Italian troops kind of take um, Belgian Congo territory. Just because, oh, America, what are you doing? Whoa, America and Britain, you're sending so many troops. It's uncanny. Yeah, Japan seems to want to keep my Marines at bay, so he keeps moving his divisions around. <laughs> because he knows just how strong these troops are. All right, so how's division preparing going? Oh, we are running out of supply. Um, I do not want that, so everyone just go to Saigon for the time being. And see if we can do a naval invasion. Maybe a little further north. Maybe in Hong Kong or Guangzhou. Because now that we have the American Navy, 
we might be all right to do naval invasions. Or we could try here for Haiko. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to go for Haiko. Yes! We do have air superiority in some missions. All right. Yay! We have better um, infantry weapons. Um, what's that? That's infantry breakthrough and defense. Can I get better Marines yet? Yeah, no, that's 1943. Okay, so we'll get better support equipment. Um, yeah, we're running low on supplies. So how's constructions coming along? All right, one more military factory and we should be good. Um, do I want to be building five per day? No, I want to be building... You know, I want to have three factories on this and I want to have two more on support equipment. I want to use as much of this aluminum that we as we can, pretty much. Um, we do have heavy tanks. They do require chromium and they do require oil. Which I'm not a big fan of <laughs> trading for oil. As everyone can probably tell. And we're all moving to Saigon. This is going to be the start point of our naval invasion of Haiko. But yeah, I want to take these isles just because we can do so much with them. Oh, and Siam's about to capitulate. Hmm. Eh. I might bring the cavalry over here to fight. Because they can fight very well with very low supply. But I might have the cavalry be the divisions that attack up here into Italian Africa. I'm going to kick it down to two speed for a little bit just because the game seems to be chugging a little bit, but that just might be something running in the background on my computer, like Steam. Um, we have 400 army experience. You know, I'm going to expand these motorized divisions just because why not take them up to 20 combat width. We'll give them recon. We'll give them engineers, field hospitals, logistics. There. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Yep, got some water. We're good. It's getting really hot in this room for the computer. Oh, man. Yeah, after this episode, I'm going to have to stop for probably a couple hours just so that I can let the room air out. And then I'll get back to it. Because I want to have today, this Friday, is the day that I have to get everything ready for the time until I leave for university. So I'm going to definitely get that done. I've gotten all of the Mountain Blade videos recorded. Um, and this is what? This is enough hearts of iron to last us until. I think this episode is going to be the one that goes out next. Saturday. No, this one is the one that will go out that Tuesday after I leave. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so this is the last one I have to do today, but I'm going to do more just because I can. <laughs> and if I have the opportunity to do it, I want to get it done. Looks like America's doing pretty well over here. Oh, yay. Infantry anti-tank. Infantry anti out of the <laughs> I just kind of fumbled all over everything. That was glorious. Yeah, let's get advanced artillery. 39 factories at this point. I'm very pleased with that. We're going to have 40. 
but I just don't know how much more space there's going to be for more factories. We're going to have to take territory if we want any more. Alright, so most of the guys are down here in Saigon. We got two divisions left. So what are the two divisions? Oh no, that's six and two. Yep, I can I can count. <laughs> I think. All right. There's a single Italian division staring angrily at us from across the river. I have what? This is ten divisions. I have fifty thousand men right here. This is 50,000 men. <laughs> I mean, total, it's... What, 24 divisions of 5,000? 120,000 men sitting right there? And then I've got... 80,000 Marines. <laughs> so are we good to go? One day. Oh, the South China Sea. We don't have the intel for the South China Sea. Darn it. Well, as soon as you get the opportunity, go for it. Ah. <laughs> I can't decide what I want to do, man. This is... This is terrible. This is completely just this is something that I should not be doing, but it is. God, we have 800 political power. What are we ever going to do with that much political power? Well, we have enough guns. I think we might be able to get some more manpower. I mean, I can go all the way down to getting 25% of the population to be recruitable. If I really wanted to. No, I won't do that. Um, we will go down to service by requirement. We'll do it. Yep, 625,000 men. Ready and raring to go. So let's get some troops training. <laughs> we are making a small amount less um, equipment, but that's okay. So yeah, what kind of divisions do I want? Oh, we're not going to be building any armor. These district forces. What do I want them to be? I don't even know. Let's see. Um, these motorized divisions. So per... Per five. I'm trying to look at how much. That's an awkward amount. Let me see. I'm just gonna go to the division designer, make a new template, and see. So you need a hundred infantry equipment. You need fifty trucks per motorized brigade. So. We could make one motorized division, a single division of motorized troops. I don't think that's worth it. So in that case, since we have, what, 17,000 extra guns, we'll train... Let's see, what's a Seven. Um, we have five. I want 16. So, one, two, three, four. Yep. All right. You're going to have a bunch of cavalry. Because why not? You guys are going to be your own division. You can hire a new commander. And for now, you guys are going to garrison the homeland. And you guys will be Army Group Red. Why not? Let's do it. Yep. So all of these troops are going to go to Army Group Red. Oh, we have free military factories. Awesome. Um, what do I want to make? <laughs> I don't even know what I want to make. 
We could start building more. Oh, that's what we need to do. We need to switch up to uh, infantry equipment level three. <laughs> yeah, that might help. Just a little bit. Alright. I hope one of my buds just hopped onto uh, Hearts of Iron 4. It's nice. And, yeah, that's going to be so 16 times 2. That's going to be roughly 32,000 men. Maybe a little extra for the horses um, that we're going to be putting in these cavalry divisions. Yeah. And we're running out of steel. I don't want to... Uh, make any more, pretty much. <laughs> so how's this assault going? It's going decent. <laughs> now I'm going to take four of these guys. Um, one, two, three, and four. You guys are going to stop. Sit so stop. And you're going to move up that way. Towards those Irish divisions. So how many troops has Siam lost? They've lost another 150,000 troops since the last time we looked, I think. Japan's lost another million. Uh, Italy's lost about a quarter million. Germany hasn't been losing that many troops. Britain's lost about 200,000. We haven't really lost many at all. Um, the Raj has lost a couple hundred thousand men. Australia has lost about another 10,000. The United States has lost 350,000 men so far. I'm not sure how well that bodes. But yeah, it looks like uh, Japan isn't going to be able to hold on to the entirety of China. So... I think I know what I want to do with these cavalry divisions. Like once um, Soviet Union gets involved in the war, if they do get involved in the war, um, I want to have the cav helping out Soviet Union, like up here in the north by Finland, if I can get military access at least. But beyond that, things are going rather decently. We can attack that those three divisions. All right, let's keep it moving. Yeah, we'll bump it back up to three speed, just because. Why not? I don't think we're going to crash the game from it. Oh, wow. Why are there so many troops down here? They must be taking a massive amount of attrition. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Why would you have that many? Well, granted, we probably have had that many divisions down here. But, yeah, um, so far... Nothing much is happening. I want Siam to capitulate. I really do. I really, really do. So these four divisions are going to move north. Alright. Because Siam, I think if we look at the war screen, they're at 99% capitulation. So I think if we just take enough territory from them, then they will capitulate. So we're just going to keep pushing until the deed is done. It definitely looks like we're going to be able to pull this war off. Poor Yugoslavia. He's still fighting. 
It's just ridiculous. And all of these, ba he's winning all of these battles. This is even more ridiculous. There's Greek troops down here somewhere. Yeah, there's Greece. I don't, the main reason I don't want to land here is because the supply limit, you know, it's just as bad here, pretty much, as it is in Siam. It's no infrastructure whatsoever. Uh, what's that? We're running low of, yep, Siamese Empire has capitulated. Oh my god, we own territory. Oh my god, we do own territory. Um... I don't want it. <laughs> I, I don't really want the territory. Um, hey, British Raj. Oh, can't give it away. Oh, they still control the majority. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, now that Siam has capitulated, that's going to do it for this episode. So, um, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. So long.